Yeah. Well, you, you sexy son of a bitch. Seth, Seth Myers. Myers right now. I'm uh, on a I'm on life. a couch going, well, Seth. I knew I was going to be a comedian when I <laughs> pooped on my mom and laughed about it. <laughs> you know, I Seth, know. it's just uh, <laughs> when you the first time you feel that laughter hit you, it just becomes a. Oh. I'd say nothing short of an addiction, and uh, and those people had an addiction to me, and I was the drug. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, Seth, we both know we're both uh, we're both in this game. You just dropped one, I dropped one, and I want to say that fuck you, bonfire for life. Flip the desk, dude. Ah, Go for it. Ah, ah, or just pull a Joker and shoot him. That'd you be pretty crazy. She, uh, you should do like the guy on the. It's Tom Green show, the guy that came in and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. had the the guitar, the guitar saw, start busting his desk up. Dude, that'd be fucking badass. That'd be so great. If Seth was like, "Yeah, dude, saw my desk in half." <laughs> Go for it. I'd be like, "You're the man." No, I like that. He goes, "Dude, Myers gets it." Dude, say, I'm, you want to know who I'm? Who gets it? Seth Myers dude, does. You you don't think he gets it? But dude, he gets it. That dude's metal. That guy, <laughs> that guy's straight dope. Uh, I got sent um, a funny video this weekend. Hmm. It wasn't even a funny video. We were talking about people bombing on stage. Yes. My girlfriend and I were just, like, talking about, like, not comics. Like, people who are not comics, mm -hmm. just with stage fright, just eating shit. And she's like, I was showing her video. I watched, I showed her the uh, Gabool. I oh, showed yeah. her, I showed her um, the, uh, you want me to sing Jolly Good Fellow? For you, Jolly Good Fellow? Sing it for you, Jolly Good Fellow? Just those kind of moments where you're super nervous. Dude, she showed me this video. That uh -huh. I called you immediately and was like, you have to see this movie. She was like, have you seen Michael Bay, the director, bomb on stage when he's trying to talk about the curved TVs? And, and I was like, no. What do you mean? He's like, I do. Like, she told I me she's like the teleprompter. I don't. I, she's like the teleprompter breaks and he just gives up. And it was from 2014, and he just did Transformers. I think with Mark Wahlberg. This might have been the Robot Guys. But uh, watch this introduction because the guy hosting is like, this next man is an icon. And then he just comes out and kind of sucks his dick and the prompter breaks while he's bragging about himself. And he just goes, I, I gotta go. So, um, what? Sing for you, Chicago fellow. <laughs> John, Michael Bay does that. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> do, do you want me to sing? Yeah, goes, uh, yeah. Live action mixed with fantasy is what I cre oh. create to create... Sing, sing for you, Jack Alfell. <laughs> <laughs> I bring the things that children can't even dream to life and on screen. And, uh, well, hold. Sing for Jack Alfell. Sing for Jack Alfell. Oh. <laughs> Here, play the video. It's only like two Dude, minutes. There'll be some situation in life where I will be saved because if something is going just weird and yeah. awkward, and I go. <laughs> Sing for you, for you, fellow. And even if it just makes you oh, or somebody else laugh, it's yeah. going to be so worth it. I should have done that to a little kid when I was breaking up my question. <laughs> sing sing for you, for you, Scott, fellow. <laughs> sing play. for you, Scott, fellow. <laughs> That's the best. But don't take our word for it. Who better to talk about heart pounding? Explosive action. Explosive. Wilfred Brimley. Then he goes, diabetes. It's your heart. Or it's race out of your chest. <laughs> Who better to talk about menopause? Than Forrest Henderson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Then forget your dusty pussy yeah, up here, I'll Flo -ho. talk about it. <laughs> it just shows a trailer. Yeah. Of Terminate. Or it's, uh... Oh, it's Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Harbor. Oh, no, he, it does. It's all of his movies cut together, and like a sizzle reel for one of his uh, for this TV. Is that what it's? I think it's all Transformers. I think I was just wrong. No, no, you're right. Yeah, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. I, go, I don't remember robots being in Pearl Harbor. Bad Boys. He did Bad Boys. Oh yeah. You so, know it, dude. Michael Bay shows up. Trailer for him. Director and producer Michael Bay. <laughs> Do is talk. Oh, like, the picture of him with a megaphone. Yeah. How is everyone today? Yeah, he looks like an old hockey player. Did Michael Bay go, get a Me Too by any chance? There was rumors that he was just a creep. Yeah. Actually, that's right. I never heard of Me Too. So I heard like people say he's like an asshole. Like that girl, I think walked away from acting pretty much. <laughs> Megan Fox. Yeah. 
Well, because yeah. she hated him so much. I, I, that's, I believe I've read things that have said that. We have a lot to learn from Megan Fox's Me Too comments. <laughs> what were they? Mm, I don't but know. What were we'll, they? We'll, we'll digress. We'll digress into that. Well, after. Watch. He's already right now. Let's watch the. He's bay. also first off. He's doing the thing where he's rubbing his hands nervously. You oh, know, get like that he's itch. The, yeah, yeah. Where he's like, fuck. <laughs> fuck my hand. Okay. All right. Come on, okay. Michael. Okay. Why is his lav mic the size of a fucking? Yeah, it's giant, dude. What is that thing? It looks like a bow tie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bolo. <laughs> yeah. He goes, howdy, everyone. This is the new Michael Bay. I don't treat a lady that don't want to be treated right. You know I like blowing stuff up. Hey. My job as a director is I get to dream for a living. (laughs) Michael, you know, you're known for such unbelievable action. What inspires you? How do you come up with these unbelievable ideas? Uh, I create visual worlds that are so beyond everyone's normal life experiences. And Hollywood is a place that creates uh, a viewer escape. And, back uh, on. You can see when it breaks. You can see when the prompter breaks because he's like, my dreams basically buttfuck all your dreams. I am the dream maker. I am a god. I thought he and lost he goes, it right at the very first when he goes, uh, see when he goes, I uh, get to dream for a living. Because then he puts his hands together and looks at the guy like, Someone gonna jump on this thing? Because yeah, this just went wacky on me. <laughs> hey, dude, this is Scootsville. <laughs> yeah, he really. He put his hands together. And he looks at the guy right, right after yeah. that part, and he yeah. goes, he goes, Hoss? we're gonna work on this because uh, talking ain't my talking ain't my jam. He goes, I yell action. I look. I watch stuff. Yeah, I, I yell. I don't say shit like I get to dream for a living. Oh, dude, it's great. He goes, I want to dream for a living. Who wrote that? Should I go back there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, go back before that. Right, yeah, right here. And them hands start going big times. So not here. My job yeah. As a director, is I get to dream for a living. Uh, yeah. yeah, right there. That's exactly <laughs> where it breaks. Yeah, he goes, hey, what's up, bud? What's going on? We're off. We're off script. Or actually, maybe he looked over at him because it says prompted. And I think it's prompted. Like look it says, to not look to him, but it's like it's his. You know when you yeah. know when you when you you know when you sing Islands in the Stream at karaoke. Everybody knows yes, that, right? Everyone and, knows. And you're Dolly you're Parton, wing, yeah. Or Kenny Rogers, and you're winging, yeah. Kenny Rogers is all the blue. Dolly Parton's all the pink. She's all the pink, and then so that's what happened. It, Michael Bay's all pink. Uh, Michael Bay's pink. He saw all blue, and he goes, he goes, blue. You get to hit your line. Yeah, and the guy goes, that's right, Michael. He goes. <laughs> I'm a little bit country. <laughs> Don't go break in my heart. <laughs> Summer dreams. Go, honey. He's just doing that. Mm-hmm. He goes, I get like, to dream for a living. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Michael Bay. As a director, I get to dream for a living. Well, what's it like, Michael? When you, when you see me? Funny, Funny you, you should ask. So, thank you for uh, asking. <laughs> so, Michael, what's it like when you get in front of the camera for the first time the first day of shooting? Well, it's funny you should ask. The first day of shooting is always a, a, a rocky right. one. A rocky one? Yeah, so rock. Who's <laughs> this fucking guy? He reads all of it. Yeah. Just, you're right. I think it is a prompt. Back five seconds, and then let's see it. Yeah. Have you ever seen. Wait, pause before I pothead forget this. Have you ever seen. I've seen that with comedy before when someone has a, a a bit that's rehearsed with an audience member too much. Yeah, dude. And they uh, they don't realize they're doing it. It's, just, it's nothing to do with like, the humor of the bit or not. Sure. I saw Amazing Jonathan do this before a lot. Uh, even when he was younger, you could see him mouthing the words that the girl who's supposed to be a... Yeah, an audience member who has a plant. Yeah, but even... Yeah, so and he says their, like, uh, he says their words. Yeah, and you're watching him do it too. And you're, hey. yeah, 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 and he goes... I, don't, I grew up in Fresno. You grew up in Fresno? <laughs> Why did you grow up in Fresno? She's like, because, because you're all right. <laughs> because it, it, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. uh-huh. Well, dude, I, it's interesting. We'll tweet the video out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. I don't know if it breaks or if it's prompted. It could be either or. Let's see. Go back to it again. He gets to dream is. for a living. For a living. Because I get to dream for a living. Look. You go. Michael. You know, yeah. You're known for such unbelievable action. Well, what inspires you? How do you come up with these unbelievable ideas? Uh, I create visual worlds that are so beyond every, everyone's normal life experiences. And Hollywood is a place that creates uh, a viewer escape. And um, what I try to do is, I, as a director, I try to... Uh, the type is all off, sorry, but I'll just wing this. What? Tell us what you think. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll, we'll wing it right now. 
Dude, uh, let me also tell you what's happening right now. A man that is used to having everyone at his beck and call yeah. and be able to scream at everyone, it is a massive mistake, and he can't fucking scream at anybody. I was going to say, when he went... When he got off stage from this, dude, oh, he, ate, he, he oh kicked my. the fucking curved TV over oh for sure. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, I bet he wrecked his room like Zeppelin in 72. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was like fucking I mean, they tearing shit off the walls. He threw a, he goes, he threw a, a flat screen out of the window. Yeah. Oh, God. You guys think Michael Bay's action sequences are great? Wait when he fucks <laughs> up. Oh, fuck it, cow. Everybody. Types all off. Oh, Jeffy, when I get off the stage, <laughs> I'm yes. going to cave your goddamn chest in. <laughs> yes. Typing's off. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, I know this was you. I was, know this was you. He was in the run through. You had it perfect. <laughs> now it's, uh, he's, he's doing it angry, but he tries to act happy. He goes, No, you know what? Ha <laughs> ha, let's wing it. Ha <laughs> ha, we're going to wing right, it. We're going to have fun and I'll wing it. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> I decided to take people on an emotional ride. And, um,. The curve? Look, look at that TV. How does it, uh, how do you think it's going to impact, uh, how viewers experience your movies? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. What a joke. I mean, that, it's got to be, oh, he, he addressed it? On what? No. What does he say? And now, he goes, ah, oh, yeah, ah, uh, it looks like old Opie. <laughs> Is this? Hang on, I think. Storms <laughs> off stage during a live presentation at a Oh, then you gotta hear some hot, show. chippy Love bitch it. talk shit about you? Yeah. Michael Bay peed his pants in front of thousands. <laughs> what a little sissy ninny boy. Can <laughs> you believe it? Remember when he didn't give me the role of Friend 3 in Transformers Redemption? Well, that fucking cunt. Uh, so this is what he wrote? Wow, he wrote, wow, I just embarrassed myself at CES. I was about to speak for Samsung for this awesome curved 105 inch UHD TV. I rarely lend my name to any products, but this one is just stellar. I got so excited to talk that I skipped over the executive vice president's intro line and then the teleprompter got lost. Then when the prompter went up and down, then I walked off. Guest live shows aren't my thing, but I'm doing a special <laughs> curved screen experience with Samsung and Transformer 4s. Transformers 4 footage that will be traveling around the world. Good sell for tickets, Michael. I'll tell you what, that guy's never had to do live art for, nope. uh, for, for money ever. <laughs> He's like, well, come see me next time. I'll get can a comic after you bomb, like if you release thing, like, Phew. that one got away from me, huh? I'll be hilarious tomorrow. <laughs> what are infamous, Don't worry, what I'll are, get it back. What are infamous comic bomb apologies? I think like Tiffany Haddish had to do one in Miami. It, uh, she apologized for the bomb? I think so. Oh, look up comedian bombing apologies. Yeah, because like I think there's like uh, there's got to be somewhere people walked off stage and there's like ah well I fucked up. That's Megan this Fox. Is the Megan Fox, if you read this paragraph. Uh, she told paragraph? me. Uh, she, oh, this is uh, Fox told an author how she got the gig as the hypersexualized Michaela in Transformers. Wait, wait, she's showing that saying the one above it. This one right here. Oh, she was a 15 year old extra for a club scene in Bad Boys 2, clad in nothing but a bikini and six inch heels. Uh, mm -hmm, according mm -hmm. to a 2009 inter Jimmy Kimmel interview, Bay approved of including her in the scene, but when told her age would not allow them to show her drinking, his solution was then to have me dancing underneath a waterfall, getting soaking wet. Soaking. And that was at 10. Can we find that scene? I was in 10th grade, so that's sort of a microcosm of how Bay's mind works. Oy. And then she told an author, she told me she went to director Michael Bay's house to audition and he made her wash his Ferrari while he filmed her. She said she didn't know what had, what had happened to the footage. When I put it to Bay himself, he looked subtly abashed. Or uh, I don't know suitably. where it is either. Oh, suitably. suitably. Or, I don't know where it is either. No red flags there. I know where they're at. Yeah, dude. It is spank bank. Yeah. On a flash drive on a 105-inch Sony screen curved TV. He goes, this curved <laughs> TV is awesome to jerk off to chicks that wash Ferraris in your... Dude, I mean... You can see, he goes, this TV is so clear, you can see she hasn't even grown pubes in that spot. He goes, that's not... <laughs> he goes, that's perfect. And with the curve, you can actually fuck the TV. You'd see follicle. You'd see follicle. You'd see at you'd least... You'd see follicle. You'd, you'd see follicle bump. Oh, you can see this girl is naturally hairless on those thighs. Wow, so Megan Fox just said he's just uh, creepy? Yeah. <laughs> talk, so he just gets right to it. He goes, hey, guys, I know we're out here worried about robot cars, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Michael Bay turns into a creep. 
Guys, I think a directed turns into a real creep. Fuck time. Fuck time. Dude, we read uh, Mark Wahlberg's schedule yesterday at Joe List's Christmas party. Like oh, yeah. His yeah, morning yeah. schedule. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, it's ridiculous. He yeah. wakes up at 2.30, goes to bed at 7.30. P- he does two workouts. A lot of snacks. I, I dig his snack program. Yeah, a lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. Are they, but they're all super healthy snacks. Well, Where does he deviate? Where, are they? where does he go from? Where is it might it? be Cheeto Puffs. We don't know. It just says snack. Yeah, oh, there it is. Snack. Yeah, but that doesn't mean. Wake anything. up, two forty-five in the morning. Prayer time. Three fifteen. Breakfast. Three forty to five fifteen. Workout. Apocalypse training. Five thirty. Post workout meal. Six a.m. Shower. Seven thirty a.m. Golf. Who golfs? Who showers call, before call golf? Call Donnie. Call him a faggot. Yeah. Cryo chamber recovery. Try to steal Jenny McCarthy. Snack. Family time. Meetings and work calls. Then lunch. Then meetings and more work calls. 2 p.m. Freckles. Oh, she got freckles. <laughs> Pick up kids at school. 4.15, mirror pouts. He goes, oh, 5.15, elbow, f- tricep flexes it while I'm walking by the mirror in the hallway. Ooh. Ooh, I got to fre- say, ooh, in a mirror. Ooh. Put them both in my hands. Oh, she got freckles. Put them both in my hands freckles. over my mouth and going like this. Oh. Damn. His body fits perfectly in. In acting chairs. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Set the story chairs. sits. He's like, yeah, that's why I work out so much. I get my ass right in the middle of that little hammock. Dude, that has got to be hanging out with him. You're like, dude, I don't want to wake up that early. 2.30 a.m. Staying at the Wahlberg for a weekend? 7.30 p.m. is bedtime? I mean, do you, do you just believe that, though? No. I th- no. I think he made this up. Could you? Your kids must be like, well, life sucks. My dude, dad can sleep at 7.30 p.m. I know a girl In that... In the summertime, it's light for two more hours. <laughs> but I know, yeah, I know. You're like, cool, this, the birds are just singing. And he's like, well, time to get my seven hours of sleep. <laughs> Your dad's over you. But, Hush, little baby, there don't say a word. It's 7.30, dad. Mama's gonna be bubba bopping, dude. But I also think that, I think it's bullshit because um, I, knew two, I know two people that have worked on movies with The Rock. And I'm always like, oh, he's up at like 4.30 in the morning, huh? And she was like, no, he's up at like nine. <laughs> and then he goes to the gym and everyone waits. Yeah, that makes and sense. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Because that whole thing is like 4 a.m. Are you up working hard? And you could buy the rocks, like the clock where you wake up at the same time as the rock. But knowing that he's not waking up at 4 a.m., you're like, <laughs> he's got the fucking rock. sold. Also, by the way, 2.30 a.m. wake up is d- like for the sense of the world. Just adjust that. Three hours. Fucking th- th- three ten, hours. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And, and fucking and the, you go to bed at 10.30 p.m. And you wake up at fucking 5.30 in the morning. That's a lot of people. He's just yeah. doing it to be different. He's like 2.30, 7.30. Everyone knows the best sleeping hour is 8.30 to 9.30. Yeah, last night's stuff isn't over yet at 2.30 a.m. Dude, if you go to bed at 2.30 a.m., you're not watching the end of James Corden. Yeah. You fucking dip out on Corden? You wake, do you think he wakes up to watch Corden? I wake up for Corden. <laughs> I get up. I want to watch James Corden. I love his songs. I won't do carpool karaoke. I don't trust cars. I don't, I don't like cars. <laughs> what if that car turns into a robot? <laughs> In the middle of a of, uh, funky bunch. <laughs> what if what if good vibrations is the thing that makes him turn? Uh, that's crazy. And that's the song I want to sing. What is that? Giardelli, Dark Chocolate God with Goddamn right it is. With uh, mint? Yeah. You I'm a slut. fucking sassy oh, bitch. I, I don't like eating these unless they're on a pillow. Uh, anybody else want one? Who want one? Everybody like, wants one. <laughs> Ooh, gooey mint inside. Yeah. Didn't see that coming, yeah, gang. Yeah, coming oh, on. Oh, she got freckles. Oh, she got freckles. Ooh. But that's the oh, dude. The, uh, that whole like that's the whole thing. You're just being difficult to be difficult. By the way, did you see the picture that Chris D'Elia posted? He got to watch the fucking Anthony Joshua Ruiz fight uh-huh. at Sylvester Stallone's house. It was Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sugar Ray Robinson? Who else was there? It was like Chris Ryan D'Elia. Callen and Chris D'Elia were the two comics that were there. Why? I don't know. Maybe D'Elia's in a movie with. Stallone? Oh, that would make sense. Right. I guess. Other than just like being on his radar? Uh-huh. I like Chris D'Elia. I don't know. I like it physical. I like it loud. He goes, I like to have all my favorite comics over for boxing matches. Hey. I like Chris D'Elia. I really love Eliza doesn't you? <laughs> and Guy Fieri. Oh, and Al Pacino. Uh, man, you really mentioned Al Pacino way late in the game. Too for late. Who you did name. 
Uh, my Warren favorite Adams, is- Kyle Kinane. Oh, I forgot Al Pacino. Uh, Warren Warren Adams. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at Arnold in the back. By the way, I just noticed what painting he has in the middle of his bar. Yeah. Uh, I noticed immediately. You got a ring? Or am I going to ring? Christine, see it? Yeah. That's great. Tim and Apollo. Ding, ding. The this fact, guy will knock you on your I'll ass. tell you what, it's a little bit jerk offy, unless that is. Because, by the way, he also has the Rocky statue for real. That's weird. That's weird. But that's his boxing watching room. Sure, probably. And I'll say, Christine, just for the record, I don't. Know, I know you think you're better than Sylvester Stallone, but I don't know if you noticed, but his couches also have that, uh, you know, whatever that's called, the pleating. Yeah. The dot, you know, the, the indent every couple inches. Who wins? If everyone <laughs> fights in there, Sugar, Sugar Ray uh, Leonard just beats the fuck out of everybody. No. No. Now, come on. What? Dalia, dude. <laughs> you Dalia got Dalia's house. Oh, is that Frank? What's his face in the background, too? Yeah. Grillo? Yeah, Frank Grillo. Love Frank Grillo. Hell yeah. Dude, and Stallone just fucking smoking a cigar inside? Boss ass move. Guy Fury, that's hilarious. Guy Fury's like, dude, I just got good coke. Everyone calls the guy if they want to flame up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Sylvester Stallone's daughters, have you seen them? <sighs> No, everyone's cranking out hot daughters now, though. I just see last names, and I assume, and I don't want to go look. Go to Stallone's. Go to Stallone's daughters. It is Dude, nuts. Ryan Filippi's son is like a handsome man. Of course he is. <laughs> everyone's getting old with us. Yeah, I know. It's weird. These are his daughters. His wife is fucking. I'll, I'll take the wife. Which one's his wife? One of the. Fuck is you think that's? I thought they were all his daughters. Is that a wife? Why is he all hugged up around the ass of his daughter? Then I don't know, but I feel bad for the one that's uh, no, nah, the to one, his the left. one, yeah, the one he's hugging up on is definitely uh, that's yeah. the personality. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, "I wrote the movie." My, she's like, "I graduated second in my class." Like, yeah, you had to. Yeah, he, that's how he names her. He goes, uh, "You know, I like to describe my my children kind of like my bodies in the Rocky movie." So this daughter over here is Rocky Four. You know, like I got after Russia, a great body. This other daughter right here. Is, is is Rocky three? It's pretty good. You can tell I'm on steroids. And that's uh, Clarissa. She's Rocky one body. <laughs> Rocky one body. And she goes, this yeah. is a great script. His daughters look like the band Heim. Hot Heim. They're hot Heim. <laughs> hot Heim. By the way, the one to his left, actually, in every other picture, is also smoking hot. <laughs> oh yeah, you're, you're, we changed we really, the picture. We really got one like, picture on her. One bad picture, and you're like, yep. And now he's got three hot dogs. Now I don't feel bad about calling her a pig in that other picture. I mean, Jesus, dude. Damn, dude. I gotta use a bad word. Four. You understand? Four. What do you think? Uh, what do you think they're into? Apollo Creeds? No. Uh, <laughs> or Ivan Dragos. What do you think they're into? Dragos or Creeds? <laughs> what do you think they're into? He goes, uh, or uh, the only thing you're hoping not for? You don't want to club her leg. Yeah, he goes, Hey, <laughs> hey, Mr. Stallone. I met your daughter down at the club. Mmm. <laughs> I brought over my apartment. Show what a real man likes. Outside of Chicago. I mean, that is insane. <laughs> hey. Anybody want to fuck one of my kids? He goes, you know what God's greatest joke is? Not giving me his son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These girls are going to get ran through on all these expensive he goes, vacations. He goes, you know what girls don't like? Rocky and Rambo movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I had a son, they would care. <laughs> daughter's like, I don't fucking care, Dad. I never made a film about dancing. Or, uh, I, if Copland doesn't go over well. <laughs> yeah. I tried, to, I tried to get into Fifty Shades of Grey for him, he goes, but they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. You know what young bitches hate? Cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. Why is it? I thought John 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 Lithgow did a great job as a villain. Yeah, I guess my daughters became whores because I was off making future prison movies straight to cable. He goes, you know what? My middle one really likes Judge Dredd. <laughs> for some reason, I don't know, that one I don't, that one tickled him for some goes, reason. <laughs> is that just the random movies that his kids like? You know, you're gonna think this is crazy, but my middle daughter really, really enjoyed Demolition Man. Yeah, Rhinestone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rhinestone, so great. Dolly Parton, he goes, Sylvester Stallone. He was the oldest one, big Cobra fan. But uh, mostly for the car, Damn. not because of the movie. Yeah, you, dude, should be, you should think your dad was awesome in Cobra, you bitches. You, so uh, angry at them. They go, yeah, I guess. Uh, dude, what a go great... Go to her graduation picture. If you could go What's to, a, the if blow, you could do a podcast... Well, yeah. 
Class I got a, I got a degree in thick-chested fathers. Yeah, yeah. Steroid dads. She goes, I got a bachelor degree in steroid Damn, dads. Dude. He has such a short, thick torso. Oh, man. Hey. Hey. Sly. We got to... Are those his only kids? He just had three daughters? No, he's... One son died. Oh, no. all right. Well, well up, I didn't know his son died. Good job, Jacob. God, well, Jacob. Now we're all bummed out. Fucking man. Thanks, dude. Wow, kibosh. Yeah. You can't win! I guess we'll take a break. Yeah, all First that one, it's, uh, it's Stallone lost a child. I, Thanks, Jacob. I hate hearing that. I thought that only, I thought only that Travolta had happened to. Mm-mm. I thought we were dancing around it, and then Jacob drops the hammer. All right, rest in peace, Stallone. All right, Pete, dude. We'll be right back at the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hot. We're on the air, Jacob. You have to talk on the microphone. It's cold. Now it's cold in the room. It's not even... It's not even kind of crazy. Cold. I'm sweating. We're all sweating. The, the temperature hasn't gone down here yet. What'd you put it to? 55. I think I went lower than that. I think I may have dropped down to 53. <laughs> But we're just trying to, we're trying to... You know what, Jacob? Yeah. But well, why not put it to 60? Because, Jacob, this is how... I'll kick the window open. Go to radio. I uh, radio, television, it's always got to be cold. So got to keep everybody up. It. Yeah. All right. It's not about her. It's based. On, it's a. It's a musical around the album. The cast includes Elizabeth Stanley as Mary Jane. That's fun. I, just I heard want that a warmer uh, in the fucking studio. I heard that uh, Dave Couillet's in it though as himself. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's not yes. about her. I cheated on her. Yeah, the Heelys. For the record, she did not go down on me in a theater. Cut yeah. it out. Cut it later. You know what I have? <laughs> hey, yeah. Rocky. You can only I go never got my dick sucked in a movie theater. There you, you can only go down on someone if they have. Wood? <laughs> <laughs> did somebody say wood? And he goes, oh, look who it is. All right, I got to get out of here. Dave Coulier, everyone. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you please put on Dave Coulier comedy? I don't think I've ever watched it. I've never watched it before. You've seen him live? You've seen the Cools live? I've never seen Dave <laughs> Coulier's comedy for one Let's second. Let's fucking go. I got chocolates. I'm ready to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you got movie snacks? Uh, anybody movie. have any there's Popcorn some corn with fucking anybody have any gluten free fried cheeses? Uh, yeah. You know what he did you know what joke he did where I thought I was like, is this a joke? But it was the um the who's gonna build it joke about the wall. He stole that from Ari Shafir too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but what, what, Rogan better after, go fuck him up. It was after that it already happened. That's and great. he came in and he just did that joke too. Well it's vacant now, isn't it? Yes it is. He goes <laughs> Uh, who's gonna build that wall? Is it wood? He goes, hop, 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 I promise you it wasn't worse back then. Oh, boy, the 90s, huh? Oh, yeah, it looks huh? like 2003 <laughs> from Just for Laughs. Wait. They do so have a, the same They same. have a Where Are They Now with Dave Coulier, though, on Oprah. I'm down to watch that. Let's get it. Look at that. That's 2003. One. Yeah. Okay, roll. Oh, Montreal! <laughs> Only one of my ears wants to hear it. Yep. Come on, shut <laughs> it out. Oh. You did it? You really opened with it? I missed, it. I missed the thing? Yeah, I, I was getting a soda. Uh, did I miss the thing? You missed the thing what dude. happened? Why didn't you tell me he was coming out? I don't know. Maybe his album should be called Fresh Out the Box. Can you see Dave Coulier's new special, Out of a Cannon? <laughs> we go, dude, he starts in sixth gear, doesn't slow down. <laughs> he gets a running start. <laughs> Comes out on fire. Dude, Back it up right to the beginning, Christine. My- Oh, are you ready, San Antonio, for a lifetime? Dave Collier. Cole. Hello, Montreal! Oh, I'm welcome. This is a gala. Come on, cut it out, hey. Come on. Dude, some, first pitch, for some Quit fastball. It. Just wants to show you what kind of what he's working with. He just wants to let you know the power he's got. Dude, this is what Canada wants. 
I did that on Full House, of course. He's a, he's a Canadian. Yeah, no, I don't. That's what I said. Is, I don't like to list them as an American. This is Canadian. what they want. Yeah. And uh, people get it wrong all the time. They'll come up to me in airports and stuff. They're like, "Hey, Dave, knock it around." Yeah. Do you really? First job I ever got in show business was doing voices on the cartoon Scooby Doo, uh, which is really fun, cool. Right? Yeah, that was really a lot of fun. And I remember I was so excited. Pauses? Dan is always funny. Dan always wants to watch these things, and he does want to watch them. But then he gets very introspective. I know why. Dan is a real. This is the graveyard of what somebody with his talent could become if you're not also world class funny, dude. You dude, just had an HBO, dude. but you're world class funny. I know, but you it's don't remember But I, every time I watch you, you always start. You go, dude, this is gonna be so great. And you watch a guy like I did voices on a cartoon, yeah. and I do this voice and that voice, and then yeah, you can also do their voices. I go, like, and you go, you go, is this what I am? Is this what I am, dude? That's. But just you know, that's what I feel whenever I see any fat comic who's morbidly obese. It has nothing to do with their level of comedy. <laughs> I just go, that's what I look like, dude, and that is my problem. Every time they do the slow roll no joke into a voice where he goes that was pretty cool you can imagine that situation we'll probably have a lot of voices like this <laughs> hey kid what are you doing and everyone's like yeah <laughs> like he's got no jokes up until he just does the voices that first day and I walked in and they're standing behind their microphones were Scooby and Shaggy Don Messick and Casey Case and just watching them work it was it was like they were reenacting my childhood right before my very eyes like look Scoob let's run like now yeah, let's get out of here baby <laughs> and as I sat there watching them work I thought to myself you know what I have finally achieved my goal <laughs> professional immaturity uh. Now we have Homeland Security down what? in the U.S. We have, what you know, fuck? people what guarding the, the airport. Oh, Sick transition. Whoa, whoa, Byron Allen. What's going on with Homeland Security? Professional whacker doodle. You ever paint a house? <laughs> he goes, uh, professionally immature. You guys like art? He goes, you know what I am? I'm just a regular old class clown. The opiate addiction's uh, grabbing <laughs> a lot of people's lives. Because right into Homeland Security? He goes, what if he just goes, he goes, Homeland Security, and he goes, they got this TSA pre -check. These fat black bitches. Yeah, <laughs> he, just, he just goes, whoa, cool, yay. He goes, what are we, who are we, what are we stopping guys in pajamas? Cool, yay. <laughs> cool, yay. Cool it out. <laughs> uh. We should have Scooby and Shaggy work at the oh. airport sniffing for drugs. Yes. Because if anybody's going to find some weed, it's that Shaggy dude. Oh. Like, what's that, Scoob? Rarara. Yeah. Grab some for us, good buddy. See you in the van. Yeah, that's Scooby Snacks. <laughs> they have to show elderly My favorite cartoon that. character is Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle Moose. I love Bullwinkle. Yeah. I'm going to do some Bullwinkle Moose. Is what you said. If, uh, yep. Uh, and what I, I, I want to go back to the audience and show the same. What if? Here comes, here it Wait, comes. It was, all, it was all like old couples. You know, I, every time they go back, it'd be funny if they're like dressed less and start making out. Oh, it's just, like, they're getting all wound up. She, like, dude, he, cool, yeah, gets them you going. See, you see the woman just frantically rubbing over the slacks <laughs> of the old man? And he goes, that's it. That's it. Yes. Yes. Hey. yes. Remember Bullwinkle? Oh, God. Imagine if Bullwinkle and Rocky were <laughs> somewhere. What if they were at the grocery store? Ooh, Bullwinkle. I love voices I know put in situations I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it almost makes me forget that my son's a homosexual. <laughs> rub me. Rub me, Edna. You want it? You want it, Charles? He goes, oh, you want me to do it? You like watching the man from the TV oh, while I rub you? What if Popeye... Do you love it? What if Popeye worked in aircraft traffic control? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's just getting him goosed. Uh, what if that bullwinkle voice was your real speaking uh, voice? Wouldn't that be horrible? Mm -hmm. Hey, Al, how was your night last night? My God, I got hammered. <laughs> oh, shots of Jägermeister, what I was also, I thinking? I nonstop at myself on stage, which I know has got to be very annoying, but when I watch other comics do it, I hate it, especially on something as cheese nuts as, like, he has been doing this Bullwinkle impression since, since he was five years old. Since the seventies, <laughs> yeah. Then the same setups since he was seven. Yes. So he goes. He goes there's there's oh, no man, evolution. Got hammered. He goes. Can you believe I'm? Can you believe you were doing this? He goes. Ah, oh my God! I'm doing the voice. But he's he's tr he's drunk. He was like past drunk. That and somebody before their impression. Turning around. No, like break, that's always like my favorite. Breaking. Oh, like. No, like no, no, no. I mean, like they can't. Like you got to give me a second with this. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, the whatever it is. I, I mean, I don't do my good. The only time I've ever like, broken know, like Charlie my... Sheen. He go, remember Charlie Sheen came out with the Tiger Blood thing. He'd go, uh, could you imagine if if he was talking to the Pope when he did that? He goes, 
hey, po- <laughs> uh, guys, you guys got to let me get guys, through this. Guys, yeah, the crowd's like laughing a little bit. They go, guys, guys, come on. Okay. <laughs> hey, po- <laughs> hang on. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. What's crazy is when you work. They're like, you can get it immediately. What's crazy <laughs> is when you work with a comic and they do that every show until so you see it. Yes. Like the third show. Oh. Like, you Pulling back the sociopath. Curtain. <laughs> Pulling back the curtain. <laughs> I used to be so against laughing at myself on stage that one time Jason Kanner was like, dude, at least smile. You don't look like you're having fun on there. I was like, hey, this is my jokes. Mark Face, how do you feel that we just discovered you stole most of your jokes from Dave Coulier? You were doing the Bullwinkle. I, I thought Bullwinkle hungover was yours. Yeah, hungover Bullwinkle? Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> It's my bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, this is from 2003, so I mean, check the stats. <laughs> Were you touring with Coulier ever? <laughs> was, I used to, I opened for him a couple of times. I mean, maybe, maybe like, you know, parallel thinking. <laughs> By the way, the worst insult in you stealing from Dave Coulier is that you have parallel thinking with him. <laughs> you, go, you go see, you see Mark Face at the cellar, and he goes, guys, great to be here. Cut it out. A lot of people Cut are. Cut it out. Still hung over. His tongue is incredible. We've all been a cartoon character, every one of us here tonight. I'm going to remind you when it happened. You went out, you partied, went to bed. Next morning, your friend called you early, too early, woke you up. You answered the phone, and you sounded just like Elmer Fudd. Hello. And we never admit to the other person that we just woke up. We all lie. Oh, no, you didn't wake me up. I've been up for a long time. I, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I feel, uh, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how was your night, Al? My God, I got hammered. I got so... <laughs> you you do this, you should, like, pull, like, nonstop fucking tissues out of your mouth or whatever, the handkerchiefs out of your mouth. It's, like, it's such... It's so cheese. Are they really you buckling? Should, are they buckling over like that for real? Coulier should have to drive around in a car with his laminate over the car, like you know clowns and <laughs> shit do. That's the level yeah. of this comedy is. I mean, it, it, genuinely, it's, it's, this is jokes you would do like at a kid's birthday party. It really is, Rigo. And it's like, and one of the parents would go, but it's you know, there's also some jokes for the parents in there. Yeah, he goes <laughs> hammered. <laughs> these kids don't know. <laughs> these kids, these kids think too much juice is a problem. He goes, then Dave Coulier took me in the back and uh, said, said, he said my child was adorable and then pulled his cock out and hit me in the face with it. He goes, and then he asked, will I go down him in a theater? Because I rang, 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 Will I go down on you in a theater? A theater. Because there's a boom, 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 my family. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend and I do the predator handshake now when I come back from being on the road. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I go, I go, why not just use the military? Because <laughs> someone said you were the best. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dylan! You son, son of, of a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> What's the matter? The grip. CIA got you pushing too many pencils. And then we kiss. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and then we go. When I come home uh, every time on the weekend, I look at Christine from across the room, mm-hmm. and I whisper to an imaginary person, I go, left boot. And then I pretend that she has a, I go, what are you doing here? And she goes, she goes, what do you mean? I live here. And then I go, you're too stupid to have a good time. And then I beat the shit out of her. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> she cool. Doesn't know, she doesn't know the scene, so she doesn't say the right thing. She doesn't get it right. She's uh, supposed to see, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I go, drinking, having a good time. She goes, Who's it drinking having a good time? <laughs> You're too stupid to have a good time. Yeah, she goes, what, what are we doing? <laughs> Jay, are just you doing, drunk? Just doing one side of a movie scene and the other person's not agreeing on that ends in physical violence is hilarious. <laughs> so It ends funny. in a fight. <laughs> yeah. She's like, excuse me? I said, what are you doing here? I live here. You're she too goes, stupid oh, to have okay, a good Okay, what's well, good to have you home? Drinking and having a good time. Yeah. Who's drinking and having a good time? You're too stupid to have a good the time. time. Oh, dude, that's so... <laughs> Let's see how uh, Coulier wraps up. Uh-oh. Someone was talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could, it get, could it have gotten worse? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, good voice. You a musician, what do you think, huh? I mean, I thought that was pretty good. Jesus, I'm trying to ask up the wrong shit. Did it? Nailed it. You guys are like, no, that wasn't all that great. Oh. Hey there, dude. I love African music. That's my oh, favorite. Boy. It just has you know, that the crowd is, The crowd is like, hold on, this fucking, it's like a Kirkland brand crowd. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, 
he whatever they do they clap because he forces them to clap basically he goes, i could be a musician couldn't i and they, they clap and go big and he goes you guys are all like no you couldn't be a musician that wasn't very good at all he's like and if he the, just moves on like he's like why are the, you wasting everyone's time with words he's like if the kid from twilight zone that could think everything became a stand-up comedian and the whole crowd <laughs> is like dude, dude just fucking go with this please oh, he won't stop he'll make a stop. giant rabbit come out of a hat with it's, evil oh god it'll eat half the audience and i can't that I can't. if you don't laugh at the little rabbit He's going to make it a demon rabbit. <laughs> Dude, he busted it out. He's going to do African music. This might be a problem for old Coulier. Rhythm to it. It's so different from any other kind of music that gets produced. It's just that. Well, I say, I'm on that. Yes, I'm on that. Well, I say. Anyway, welcome to slavery. Good night. Dave Coulier, Outski. I'm an aggressive. Excuse me? I'm sorry, what was it? Sing for you guys, fell? For you jolly fell? It never gets old. <laughs> Do we have any more Coulier cool stand up? That can't be the only clip. I want to see his Where Are They Now? Because it's Oprah talking about his best impressions, and it's going to be those five. Yeah, I mean, those are them. Yeah, Bullwinkle, uh, Popeye. Wow. Um, What's well, Elmer Fudd? Well, just for that one sentence of waking up in the morning. Mister, are you a deep coulier? This is Why are you doing African music? He goes, oh yeah, that was funny. You think that is funny? You are a funny man. Oh, I'm gonna start telling uh, people that Dan, if if I mean everybody knows, I me mean, definitely knows you. But I, if I wouldn't find one person who doesn't, I go. I do a radio, well, not one part of it, it's like when someone doesn't know me or, and I tell we have a radio show, yeah. I go, I do, a lot of people say my radio partner is the American Dave Coulier, so oh, if that gets you on board and all. Oh, dude, White Winslow, a.k.a. the American Coulier. What American Coulier. Wait a second, is this people going to see his stand-up and being all jazzed and jacked? Oh, yeah. Is this an illegal video of someone getting ready? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Stop everything else we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, here we go. I think it's a YouTube video, I'm guessing. All right, let's do it. Of... Uh, who's uh, Allie Rucker posted this who is she is she a comic it might be a comic no I um, went to see one of my idols for the first time he was terrific Dave Coulier from Full House of Stand Up Comedy in Stewart, Florida brought my friend to her 18th birthday too and she loved him yeah 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 this Let is rip. this is good so where are we going well, we're going to Stewart. We're going to Stewart. Yeah, you know, whatever. We're just going to Stewart. Nothing special. But we're going to see Uncle Joey. We're going to see Dave Coulier. <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. If I was, if I was in the... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he looks like he's he looks like a drunk uncle. Dude, I love it. He's fucking. I don't know, man. What do you want to see, Bullwinkle? You dumb young bitches. Yeah, you dumb bitches don't know what Bullwinkle is. Yes, you guys want to know who a real woman was? DJ Tanner. That was a real <laughs> woman. <laughs> you you don't even stupid young bitches. Fucking idiots. Is your mom know. hot? Does she have booze? Tell her to come over. Who's, whose mom's got money in her purse? You girls partying back at like a sorority house or anything later? I'll hang. Who are we going Dave to? Dave is going to your sorority party now. It's yeah. What's up? He goes, oh my God, are you really Uncle Joe? He goes, in the flesh. How about, uh, how about, how about we do a couple uh, glasses? Of, how about we do a couple shooters and you give me a Kimmy Gibbler? <laughs> He's like, what's that? He's like, it's when you eat my butt until you won't leave me alone. Yeah, if you were an old lady, I'd get a Kimmy Gummer. Yeah. Gumbler. Give me a Kimmy Gummer. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I've been watching Full House my whole life since, you know, I was, you know, since I was a baby. A, a baby bop. Yeah. So, 
He's like my. What if they start doing blow in the car? Yeah. And shit? Like, just like real trash. Oh, they start doing the scene from Boogie Nights where they go, "I don't want to leave this car. Do you want to leave this car?" She goes, <laughs> "All right, outside shot. Tiffany fucks Dave Coulier. I don't know what he's into. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna throw it at him hard. I honestly hard. Mm, hold on. Let me put that. Let me get that gummer. <laughs> I don't want to waste all of this. Anyways, we got. Is, the still, is that notebook stuff? Hang on. I know this girl. I know this girl Janet. She works at Twin Peaks. She said he <laughs> came in hammered. She said tilted kilt girl. She said he comes she's in hot, hammered. She's young. She's fresh. She's fun. She's party. She likes party. <laughs> I like to party. We all party. We party. Party, party, party. She's not tight. Everything's. She's rad. All right. Let's just. I mean, I think we're gonna have to jump around here a little bit. Oops. Like, <laughs> right, now they're out to eat pre-game. Uh, we're getting you food. We asked them to put a candle in her pizza. So, oh, you did? And we're going to sing, right? Nice. Who the fuck is that guy? Don't That's tonight. Her dad. Don't tonight. Their dad brought him to see Kate Dave Coulier. See the theater thing. Thanks for theater. All right. Well, he's selling better than us. Huh? He's selling theaters. Buddy. Buddy. Look at the marquee of that theater. Look at the door, front door of it. Oh, this dude, is, uh, this look is, at his profile picture. I'm telling picture. you, by He's the way, running. I think, by the way, I'm not exaggerating. That might be one of those, like, it's a small, uh, like, movie theater that plays, like, the movies afterwards. Got it. And he's doing a show. It, it, it could be that. It's before you get too excited. Theater is vague. You're right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Unfavored. She's like the Silver Dome. Like, oh, well, you can't mistake that. That's the Silver Dome. Yeah, yeah he's doing Casey Spaz comedy. Casey and Spaz. And they're doing the wrestling thing. I know you like that. <laughs> She's so amped up. He's got a Red Wings jersey on. He stays in character. Jesus, kiss my pussy. <laughs> this girl's excited. This girl loves Dave Coulier. She kiss my pussy. Oh, yeah, Dan. Yeah, I see what it is. Look from stage to back, buddy. Look at the projection booth up there. Yeah. Kicking off the series here. And now, Stuart, thanks for coming out tonight. That's cool. Your portion of the show is over, Casey. Glenn. Trying to hog my time. Trying to, uh, well, it's so nice to be here. Look at it. Boy, so Dude, what if she's over it? What if this video shows her get over his comedy? By the end, she, she goes, goes is, this, made it. is it really just doing the same fucking thing from before? Sometimes you think you know somebody, <laughs> and then you see enough of them, and then you realize you've really seen all of them, and he, then you know you don't want to be with them. He answered my letter. I what to say about this. He put cum in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him an envelope came, and gave it to me. And he squished it against my chest and he said, <laughs> I just came on your chest. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, uh oh. Did I just put cum on your chest? <laughs> do the, uh, do the wood. <laughs> Does you know what cum comes from? Wood. <laughs> uh, dude, we can go down a dark Dave Coulier. <laughs> All right, jump around a little bit, see what else. See, Oh, she's just straight up recording well, I want to hear some of his comedy. Now I don't like her because she's just recording. Oh, he opens with it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, packed airport. <laughs> I got to picture this. People everywhere, and this guy's running towards me, yelling this out. Dave, Joey! <laughs> and he's running towards me, and all I can think is, I hope this guy doesn't have a chainsaw. He looks nuts. <laughs> what? So he stopped in front of me and he goes to do my cut it out thing back to me, but he completely botched it up. So he's like, hey man, knock it around. That happened Dude. 15 years apart? Dude, he did that. Did that. He did the same joke. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer, Wait. man. It's a bummer, now man. Now I need him back to back. Yeah. Now I need to hear him back to back. Oh, How those go? Let's break these sets down. You go, hey man, knock it around. He goes, he goes just yesterday that happened. Just, just yesterday that happened. He's, he's putting it down. <laughs> you said that joke uh, in 2003. Uh, in Montreal at the gala. Sing, sing for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, him doing his set list backstage. He goes, he goes, I'm going to do knock it around. <laughs> knock it around, man. Goes, Cut it out. Cut it out. Knock it around. Uh, he's not even doing the, he's, he's, he's not even selling the uh, hang loose fingers anymore. 
Here we go. Out, hey. Come on. Come on, cut it out, hey. Come on. You know, I used to say that Quit on the show. I, I did that on Full House, of course, and uh, people get it wrong all the time. They'll come up to me in airports and stuff. They're like, hey, Dave, knock it around. He didn't have time for the whole thing. This guy, by the, by the way, that guy, here's a, everyone got it wrong the same way. This guy just, uh-huh. hey, Dave, the, the other guy was barreling through an airport, hopefully without a chainsaw. More set up. Double hail Hitlers, too? Take a picture of that. Yeah. Let's start some rumors about this guy. Double hail? He loves Hitler twice as much. <laughs> he goes, I think it's, I like, I want a sixth Reich. Two hails are, <laughs> two, <laughs> two hails are twice as nice. <laughs> hey, Dolph. Hey, hey, double Dolph. <laughs> I give you a double Dolph. I do a pretty, was, I do a pretty big, uh, I do a pretty good Adolf, but yeah. like, people don't like what I have to say. <laughs> it's White Supremacist Radio. After the top of the hour, we're doing a double Dolph. We're getting the Dolph out. Get that Dolph out. <laughs> Double Adolf. <laughs> First is his Munich speech, and then from Berlin in 1938. <laughs> Cut it out. That was my catchphrase on the show. That uh, that follows me everywhere I go, and uh, people love to do it back to me all the time, and it's a riot. <laughs> And people get it wrong, too. That's embarrassing, trying to correct someone, you know, doing cut it out. I, and I don't know when someone's going to spot me. I was making a flight connection in Chicago, and uh, some guy spotted me, packed airport. <laughs> you got to picture this. People everywhere, and this guy's running towards me, yelling this out. Dave! Joey! <laughs> Is that true, man? And he's running towards me, and all I can think is, I hope this guy doesn't have a chainsaw. He looks nuts. <laughs> Here it comes. So he stopped in front of me, and he goes to do my cut it out thing back to me, but he completely botched it up. So he's like, hey, man, knock it around. <laughs> I was like, oh, you mean cut it out? He's like, oh, you got it. <laughs> like somehow I was going to mess up my own bit that I've been doing for decades. And then he was just staring at me, and I didn't quite know what to say. He's just kind of like this. And then all of a sudden he blurted this out. He's like, dude. You were kind of fat on Full House. Come on. Yeah, what do you even come back with after that, you know? Well, a mullet tends to add about 10 or 15 pounds. I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you what, if this ends with her and them in his hotel please, room. Dude, please, <laughs> please go forward to see if someone got We're about to fucking, we were able to ditch my dad. We're about to go in a fucking sh- cool sh- room. Sh- Everything's my drunk ass dad got us a room at Red Roof Inn because he wanted to fuck the bartender in the airport. Was, I don't know. So he's hanging out with this girl, Darlene. And then, wait, no, Christine, I want to see his closer. First yeah, of all. we're not leaving him without his closer. You think these girls stopped filming for one second of this show? Hey, Christine, I know you're moving I want to see over. Casey and Spaz come out. Yeah, hey, uh, Christine, I know you're trying to move forward, but cut it out. Dude, it's going to be a, it's gonna be actually playing harmonica. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Crafty pants. Speed it all with your He's He's killing. Killing. I, I He's already, killing. By the way, pause it. Pause it, though. I can already tell you. I He's didn't even killing. see the end of the Do you know what that joke was he was just doing? I've never seen this comedy before in my life. Sure. You know what he was doing, right? What? Something about telling somebody to drink dr- drink and drive. Yeah, get out uh, of here. Get out. Uh, I, I, back up. I bet I'm completely right. Law, cop pulls us over. He's like, where are you gentlemen coming from? Oh, officer, we were at the ball game. Have you been drinking? I gotta be honest, I had $32 worth of beer, and he was like, you can go. I, I go to the ballpark. Go on, crafty pants. Speed it all with your wine. What? Yeah, what Thanks, call him gay for his yeah. drinks. Yes. <laughs> you guessed it, y'all. Pause it. I want to get so successful that I can do a blues. I can produce a blues album for Dave Coulier. You think I won't, dude? I won't, I'm going to exclusively do Bruno music too. Fuck the return of Bruno, <laughs> Bruce <Dude>. Willis. <laughs> if we got enough money to do Dave Coulier covering the return of Bruno, yeah, absolutely. The whole album, whole album, front to back. Holy P. Holy P. All 17 songs, including the bonus tracks, <laughs> live in Asbury Park. <laughs> Coulier does. Coulier does Bruno doing. Coulier does Bruce Willis doing Bruno. Yeah, Coulier doing Bruno do it. Featuring Popeye. (laughs) Jamming. Jamming. (laughs) 
This is this fucking. This is this. This is this room sweeping hook shot of trying to get some pussy at the end of this show. So it ain't all Bullwinkle, bitches. Come get this blues dick. You know, so I'll be on the side of this movie theater, standing by the Transformers <laughs> poster. Okay, we saw Dave. He was, I've never had sex with Anaconda before, but he was so nice. He says he was so nice. I don't know that I do bad. My he, dad's so angry at me. He says even though he finished in my butt, it's not. Gonna, <laughs> it's gonna stop singing. She goes. She, he said if I could finish in him, the uncle he'd let me meet Uncle Jesse. And then there was no Uncle Jesse. I don't know what to do. He do was think, so scared. Do you think when he calls Stamos, Stamos looks at his phone and just hits ignore? Absolutely. Goes, not today. Yeah, he goes. Oh, uh, and he goes to somebody else. They go, what's wrong? Johnny goes, cool, oh, yay. <laughs> and just tosses the phone on the bed. Just cut that out. Uh. <laughs> ay ay Ah, anyway. Hey, knock it around, right? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what it's going to be. Oh, you know what it's going to be. I already know the phone call. I know uh, the phone call. pick up his going to be? Hey, have you heard uh, from about this? You know, any, any word about me getting some more he stuff goes, on the Netflix Bob, thing? He goes, I heard Bob's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Hey, just got the news. I heard Bob's sick, so. No, uh, Bob's not sick. It's no. just a fine thing, excuses to call. No, we're not going to, we're not going to Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> For Fuller House. Uh, go ahead, play. Fuller House. What does and that mean? We'll be able to say, Her tits are bigger? <laughs> he goes, oh, it looks like somebody here's got a Fuller House. Huh? <laughs> he goes, Whoa. Whoa. He goes, go. She goes, okay. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> he goes, come on, can we get a, get a kiss? Uh, get, Let me get a kiss. I can see. Did Jacob put us back up? Jacob, what are you doing? Can you control from your computer? How could I have done that? I don't know. You're shifty, dude. You're a shifty dude, Jacob Batal. I look away for two seconds. You're in the you're in the air conditioning shaft. <laughs> like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. <laughs> you're going full McLean. Jacob goes, Ah, oh, go to the rest area, get a cup of coffee. <laughs> <coughs> Was fantastic. Maybe he'll mention us. 26th to Friday. Six songs from 1981. It'll be on the front on that Friday. So you watch I love her backsplashes. <coughs> really? What you saying? Did you like Dave? Yeah, I don't like what he did to you girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. A real man doesn't put his hand on women like that, especially girls. I had a lot favorite parts and I didn't get them all on film but some of them I did I liked when all really? of a sudden everyone had to go to the bathroom at the same <laughs> That's time funny. That's funny. that was I something that so many people got up right around the same time ago. I like that what, what, I hope she has to be <laughs> yeah I was banging her from behind and she took it out like, and put it in her ass oh. five people went That's to the bathroom that, that was the death favorite moment yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I liked? While you girls were out there getting squishy over cool yay, I was in the back just crushing it. We're all we're all over it and we wanna leave. <laughs> What do you think you get? Whoa, Scoobs, what if I was to tell you tonight we're going to do a three-hour comedy extravaganza? It's, it's my birthday. Minutes. It's my birthday, Scoobs. And whoa, well, what do you say we do two and a half hours of comedy how much, tonight? How much, honestly, how much do you think he made for this gig? 3000 for the night? Yeah. Yeah. About three yeah. k. Yeah. You're a comedy producer, Christine. Is that about that? What would Com you bumfuck nowhere. They flew him out. Nice. They flew him out at least nice. Put him in at least a, like a Marriott or a Hilton. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably about that. Three K. Mm -hmm. He's gone the next day. Yeah. Um, maybe five. Maybe five K. I'm. A, I'll, I'll just go ahead and ask the question everyone wants to know: Is he going to be at Skanks Fest Southwest, South by Southwest, South by Skanks West? Oh, maybe not, not in the first round of announcements. That's for God's sake, I'm sure. We're yeah, gonna you say that. We're going to see. We're going to see if the tickets start getting uh, stale a little bit. The tickets uh, slow down. Bring we drop cool. Yeah. I'll tell you this. Yeah, because wherever he's at, he, if he's willing to go to this town. Which, where's the, where are they saying? Like Stewart? We're going to Stewart. Stewart, Florida. Is it Stewart, Florida? I think. So, yeah, it's just, he was flown out only and put up in a decent place. Three to five grand. And I think it's Five more, is, I think, on the high but side. But because in Stewart, Florida, his name, the, the reason I say maybe five, 
they were able to charge right. thirty five dollars a ticket. It might be a place that's got like you know, listen. And he's clearly doing eighteen and up. Uh, yeah, this is way smaller, but I mean, we go to that theater where we saw Michael McDonald out in the, <laughs> the middle of Jersey there, Montclair, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. It's like packed because it's like oh it's fucking Michael McDonald's like in our neighborhood. Yeah, it's like it's true. it's down the block. Yeah, yeah like yeah. houses are across the street. Yeah, from that so theater. for Stuart Florida, he's just like hey. So when they go there, Dave Coulier, like he's going to sell the tickets. Most of these people are too uh, like doofy to even realize how like uh, lame this is, and then uh, everybody else just kind of comes. And they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting much more than that. It's kind of an evening of being entertained. Yeah, sure. They were like, I liked it. He played the harmonica. Yeah. Got rid of that dumb comedy. Fucking should have done harmonica from the beginning, I say. (laughs) I would have done it all harmonica. More. Get on that harp, dude. More. Fucking let it breathe. Six. He didn't plan that. He was making that up. Dude, I can fuck both these chicks if that impresses them. His off-the-cuff work of saying is, whoa, everyone's got to pee at the same time. She's like, he didn't even know that was going to happen. Goes, I think you see him work that in? He's like a word magician. <laughs> you see him work that shit in? Yeah. Oh, that was nuts. Dude, these girls, this is 2016. I bet one of them's got a kid. Oh, but yeah. Four to 18, that's, young that's, and nubile. That's why the dad's taking them to go pick up their kids. They're going to go pick up his grandkid from the yeah. babysitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Named her son Coulier. <laughs> His name's Coolier. Collier. Collier. We named him Collier. Like the show gets better, I promise. <laughs> Why you keep coughing? Otherwise, she's gonna be missing a lot. Well, he could tell by the way they walk what it is. Pussy. <laughs> 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 yes, I wanted to go get to watch Dave Coulier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, he's has the sense ever been said I want to do coke and watch Dave? Dude, I want to do. I'm gonna unplug tonight. I've had a long week, and I'm do. just gonna do blow and watch Dave Coulier. Off your pussy. Off your pussy. Pussy. By the way, shout out to him. He's on the Niners coaching staff. That's great. That's great. Well, there's like there's coke and pussies up there, dude. You can really coach anywhere. When those are your things, yeah, you can you, you can, can travel, land anywhere. Your loves travel with you on that. You're like one of those. <laughs> you're like one of those planes that can land on water. Coke and pussy is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere there's sports, there's coke and pussy. I love pussy because I love running a fast-paced offense. <laughs> <laughs> I do a coke and pussy. That's my first get pussy. Uh, let's take our final break, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we'll come back for a little mm-hmm. more. Bonfire. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say it's lost tapes, but it's not. It's the pre-recorded it's just, it's bonfire. Pre-recorded, no big deal. No big deal. No big right, deal at all. Not even making it a big deal. Whatever. It's... No, no, you're wrong. Shut up. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Wood. <laughs> she got down on you. <laughs> Dude. Well, we were, 
<laughs> if we were friends as kids, you'd get annoyed with how many times I would ask you to do that voice. Yeah, yeah, dude. My buddy John used to be able to do a, like, a, yeah. like a Bobby, Bobby's yeah, it's World. It's like Bobby. It's almost like Meat Wad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of Meat Wad. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um... But he is still alive. By the way, he is still alive, but he's he's doing small uh, community theaters in Stewart, Florida. So. so just give him a break. But in his defense, you're opening on Broadway, bitch. <laughs> in his defense, he is also uh, refilling his fan base with young kids. You know, they, they came and saw him. They left happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jack Little Pill, 25th anniversary tour and. Is it really 25th anniversary? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, the high selling record of 1994. High selling yeah, record of the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most sold album of the 90s. Is it? Maybe. I was going to say Chubba Wamba, but. Old Bird told me that. Pissing the night away. Pissing the night. Yeah, this this song, this uh, album had like seven hits, yeah. at least, right? I want to go see her on tour. Want to go, Christine? Christine? Yeah, I do. You guys want to go? Okay. I guess I'll fuck myself. That's fine. You owe me that one for a tour. Oh, Black Lou wants to go too. We got a party. I'll go. I already, I already have the date in my calendar. She's at Jones Beach. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start injecting heroin in my seat. <laughs> I'm going to leave a lot of times. I'm going to leave at the songs I know you want me to see the most. Wait, did you leave during Tool? <laughs> he thought, no. <laughs> he didn't come to Tool, and then I felt, but you missed all that. And then I felt bad that he wasn't that he wasn't invited to Tool, but I go, <laughs> we're going to lose Lou. He's over. Yeah. He's over on me on concerts. He always vanishes and then goes, I don't know what happened. I went to take a piss and, and get a beer, and then a ghost told me to go outside, and no one believed me when I had to come back inside, and I lost the thing, and then the next thing I know, I was getting a hot dog down the block. He goes, next thing I'm arrested. <laughs> I was in uh, uh, Murphy's Andy showing the new Ghostbusters trailer. It's great. It is. I thought it was going to be involving them much more. No. It's like kids later. Yeah, but that's kind of cool. It is cool, but it's not what the cell was. The cell until I saw a trailer, maybe it's been corrected, was always that it was like... Them again? It, it, I know well, Harold Lamus. I know it was going to be all of them. But I know. You, I know it was. Gonna, I mean, obviously in Harold. I know it was going to be uh, all of them. I mean, like the movie wasn't going to be about them necessarily. The trailer makes me think there is definitely an Aykroyd Murray cameo. There's definitely an. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. They're gonna. So, they're gonna be going. Also, uh, quite honestly, I'm just fucking sick of this kid. Oh, from <laughs> Stranger Things. Yeah, I think I don't like him anymore. And I, by the way, it's just over. I, it's not even that. He's overkill. Like I don't know. He's a smart ass kid. I get it. He's getting big fast. Like Stranger Things season four, he's gonna be like a guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Next thing they do, he will be uh, old. He'll be older. But I mean, he's like, he's in both it movies. He's in. Bo he's good, but it's like. Yeah. And what is that? Here, you know what the problem is with a teenage actor kid? Yeah. Is the problem. They're just constantly playing teenage. You can't change the thing too much. Yes, they have to. He play. seems to always be playing like a like a kid wearing a t-shirt and jeans in like a rural place. Yeah, it that sort of something like extraordinary play. happens. Yes, yeah. but when you're an adult actor, you can be like just a be, sheriff. Well, you could be the good guy. You could be the bad guy. You could be mm, the, you know. True. He keeps kind of playing just like another teenager in like a movie that's big or a show that's big. But yeah, he's not bad at what he does. I'm just saying like. Maybe not this kid one time, you know? Man, I'm excited to see this. Who the fuck? Yeah? Yeah. That word will let you down. It absolutely will. Don't. But the Bill Murray cameo will be well worth it. As Peter Venkman? Maybe. Maybe. Um, do we have the thing before we uh, wrap this one up? I want to see the apologies for bombing. The only for you, John, you can so. uh, Tiffany Haddish. Yo, that dude's video recording her. While bombing, play that guy's video. That's fucking dick. Next level heckle. That's dick. You're bombing, and the guy's filming with his face in, like, yeah. Smile to like, oh, she bombed. That's the pro again. It, absolutely, it's a fear. It's it's my pussiness of that. Like it's why you get to be an arena comedy. Dude. There's definitely just by numbers. Dude. There's definitely at least a hundred people that don't like you. That are hating it and doing this and like and, and, and arguing about it, dude. There, uh, there was when, when before Louis got canceled, he was at the cellar and he was telling me when he he was telling the table when he did Madison Square Garden, 
as he was walking to the microphone, a guy in one of the first two rows yelled out, you're not funny anymore. To who? Louis C.K. Really? As he was walking up. This is when he's doing the garden. This is before yeah, he got yeah. canceled. He was walking up to the microphone to grab the microphone, and someone goes, you're not funny anymore. And he's had to start the show. That's I was like, okay. you can't address that. Yeah, he's you like, can. He's like, not in front of fucking 18,000 people. Yeah, you can. <sighs> he's re- just re-say it again. Go, what did you say? There you go. This guy, who said that? I would just write immediately. Yeah. Hang on, everybody. Sorry a second. Who said that? I don't know. I, I never walked down on stage with that before. What did you say? Yeah, and the guy's like, yes, hey, I said I loved you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you absolutely you can acknowledge that. What This guy is filming her from be- right below her. He's... He's at that's the stage. the stage monitor. Yeah. That is dick to turn your back on her. And by the way, because it seems like he's being almost like, sadly, like, uh, t- it says Tiff having a rough night. That sounds like but familiar. He's, he's a laugh- fan. Yeah, but then he's laughing emoji and then the skull emoji like he's dead. But it, it, even if he's a fan who's like, ah, she's just having a rough night and doesn't, he's being one of the biggest dicks there. His name's Andrew Chestnut? What he's doing. Is that his name? It says on the top right, Andrew Chestnut via Storyful. Maybe that's him, maybe it's not. Tiff having a rough night, bro. That guy, dude, I would want to. What a dick. He's a dick. I didn't say you can't hear what she said. Dickhead. Dick? Wait, let's see what she said. She about. Oh, this is uh, the whole thing. Yes, this happened. I wish I wish it was better in Miami. I prayed on it, and I have a strong feeling uh, this will never happen again. Nah, yeah, that's man. a weird. That's a weird thing to say. I really want to talk about some stuff, and it's, and it's like I can't remember none of it. I just feel like whatever. Yo, man. Oh, oh. so she actually oh, like fuck. hammered. Yeah, she, she does it. Like, by the way, she has a new she, special out called Black Bar Mitzvah, and she there's a bit in it about it. Yeah, about, about she, this bombing. Yeah, about how she bombed in Miami on New Year's, and she's like, I went out and got fucked up. And then she like shows the video of her like hung over the next morning. You can't like, fucking eat. You can't go hammered on the theater, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> but people are paying that kind of money, man. You cannot. You can't not deliver. I think about all my hungover sets in my life. You know, like the real bad ones. And I'm like, man, thank God that was a half. Yeah, you're talking, you're talking about like a, you know, a 15 mall. minute spot though versus like people. No, coming. I'm talking about when I headlined Kirkland Laughs. I remember one Saturday early show. I was just so hungover the first day that. The first show, I'm just like, ah, ah, what do you guys I don't, know. <laughs> I don't think I've had to do too much performing hungover. It's brutal. Very rare. You start I, I, I've, had to do when some the bro- I've, I've done some broadcasting feeling like pretty awful. When I did, I mean, I did the show on drugs. Huh? I was. Oh, I did the show on drugs night. when when Ari Wolf oh, yeah, yeah, Veter yeah. and I did That's fucking right. speed and mushrooms, and then I did you know what, dude, and then this back to back, and you guys were like, "Are you all right?" You and the whole time therapy I was like, too. Yeah, my therapist the next time was like, "Don't come in like that." You told him what you did? Yeah. No, I was like, I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> and he's like, so let's fucking dig deep. Yeah, I go, so. Uh, dig deep. And he goes, all right. I want to dig deep. Yeah, he's like, the next time he's like, this is useful, useless. Just stay at home and sleep. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> uh, what's, is this her bombing? Yeah. Oy. I don't know what happened. Hey, you, know, you know what? Like, I really, like, you know what? Look at that theater, the projectors on the thing. That's like too big a production to, to be that irresponsible with it. Man. Yeah, I'll tell you what's odd. Like what? What I'm surprised is as long as she's been doing it, which I shouldn't say, I don't fully know how long she's been doing it. Man, Cat Williams looks like a 75-year-old black lady. I love it. Um, uh, I don't understand having that much of a situation. It looks like I'm laughing the bombing video. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But her losing it, I don't understand. You still hear her voice booming over the audience. So even if she's lost and they're not laughing, like... Yeah. Go how, back to your act. How, Go old fu- how fucked up is she? That's what I'm saying. Like I'm uh, on autopilot. I can still feel like I can like be funny. If the crowd is like, "Oh, what's going on with you?" I just want to have the funniest or try to find a funny way to say like I'm fucked. You know, it's like I don't know. 
you ever make these kind of decisions? And like, yeah. it gets funny in that. Even if you're like, even admitting, I'm not doing is. well. well I, I think she, that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to be like, let me be funny by admitting what it was. But then but there she's was not no saying jokes funny. There. Yeah, she's yeah. Just going like TMZ. I know, and y'all gonna say to me do to me do, but it you know it don't matter. Y'all, <laughs> it's like Dude, say something be. fun. Just just. Be ridiculous, oh, even. But the, you know what's got to be worse is waking up after that and being like, "How bad? Oh fuck!" But that guy was a dick. Cat Williams say it. Listen, Boo Boo, hear what happened. This is everything that happened. Now what happened, Boo Boo? White people, y'all need to quit filming Tiffany Bowman. Motherfucker ain't mean since what the ring, get, ring, ring, ring. What did he get in trouble for? Because he said what Tiffany had is he Cat said Williams, something. He bit a kid, I think, in, in the projects. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> he fought, he fought started, a child. Kevin Kevin Hart and him got into a thing because Cat Williams, who's the shortest? Yeah. Uh, talk shit and uh, then Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came back at him yeah he said I, I think he took a shot at Tiffany Haddish what it was it wasn't Kevin Hart it was Tiffany and then Kev like defended mm -hmm. Tiffany Haddish on Breakfast Club right is that what it was yeah oh I was like whoa what a fucking intro music I don't know, dude. If you I never found Tiffany Hatch to be particularly warm or very nice when I've talked to her she, I'm, she certainly probably has no idea who I am uh, and that's fine, but I always like so I, I'm always very dismissive of like her whole thing, and then uh, but people I know that we like a lot say like no she's great and she's like an awesome story also yeah she got a great story really great story survived yeah uh, foster care being homeless taking care of a special needs I think brother oh yeah okay. special needs or is he just taking care of a brother who was little but yeah it was like, in the system and she uh, went to like comedy camp. Like that thing, you know, the comedy camp. I think the same thing used to feed kids to uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, really? Just like dream camp? I think so. But uh, she was one of those, and she just stayed with comedy, and like it worked out for her. There you go. Now, you know, that money from that theater, it's a lot of money, even with the bomb. I'll tell you what, she's what, famous beyond this bomb at this point. She's a, she's a legit movie actor, actor yeah. now. She's going to go on. She, probably, she has more movies in her pocket, I think, than Schumer now. By far, I think. Yeah, she got like four movies. At least. Is Schumer back making movies? Making babies. May clap, 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 Apologizing for a fucking bomb. Yeah, I mean, you can't really apologize. You can, I guess, but if at the expense of what? Like, what does your apology really have a value? I said the same thing we talked about when we said... Pete Davidson like leaving a show sure versus just staying and shitting on Which, the fucking host like you're fucking over the people at the end of the day so going out and back like, this week sorry everyone you're really apologizing like to the next people saying like sorry I'll be better next time don't what are you doing for these people maybe she did I'm just saying but, Might be a refund. but did she he was back on SNL this week he did the uh, hot dumb guy with J-Lo oh yeah Chad or whatever he did it was like a all okay. car yeah 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 that J-Lo episode though Tuffy. There were some rough spots. Really? Well, she didn't like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. She, she cold shouldered me when I said a weird thing that were out of nowhere. When you practiced your line? Yeah, I practiced crafty. my line, and then I said it uh, right on cue. I mean, it was, at least to my cue, she looked at me in the face. <laughs> oh, documentary is hated. Uh, About wait. what? The documentary, she um, documented her pregnancy and touring. That's coming on HBO. And then there's a new TV show uh, coming to Hulu. Oh. Of Beth. Right. Of what? It's called Love Beth. It's a new TV show coming to uh, Hulu. Oh, she's doing a new show. Got it. Got it. Damn, dude. When you get that big, you can just make shows. Like, let's do two shows. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, she would probably like a conversation. Like, hey, let's go meet with someone. She's just a star. When they consider you're a star, yeah. you're not like jockeying for positioning. She'd have to audition to be like possibly. Star like, Wars. Like, yes. No, I mean, I mean, like Star Wars that would be kind of out of thing. But if she was going to be like a star of like an out of comedy I want to see that new Sandler, thing. dude. Have to do it. I want to. I want to see that new Sandler movie where he plays the diamond guy on Forty Seventh. Is it dark? It's called what? Uncut gems. Uncut gems. Is it dark? Yeah. Really? Bring the trailer up for that. It looks fucking great. It looks like it gives you the the trailer gives you a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. Because he's a he's a sports boy. He's a sports gambler. Oh, wow, should we? Is it good audio? Uh, I mean, it just look look at the character he plays. He was. Yeah, What's they're that? talking. They're talking uh, Oscar for this one. Yeah. But I say you can't take it from J-Lo for Hustlers. He was uh, interviewed on 60 Minutes yesterday. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. That's where I watched I watch that, and then I'm going to go home tonight and listen to the Sturm interview. I heard the Stern interviews. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, with Sandler. I missed a week of Stern. Like, I thought it didn't exist. And then, like, Hillary Clinton came. And, like, yeah, yeah. like, that's crazy. Really? He had Hillary Clinton on for, like, two and a half hours. You told me not to listen because they were on Best Of or Rerun. 
and Hillary I, Clinton showed up. I, I swear to God, every day I went on, it was, it was the best do, of. Do you think you were supposed to do best of and then got called in like, hey, listen, Hillary Clinton's in town. She wants to talk and to Adam you. Sandler. Maybe. And Adam Sandler. Like if they're like cool. Sandler and Clinton, he's like, all right, fucking yeah. got to do a show. Yeah, those are newsmakers. Yeah. I just said no. <laughs> but put, uh, put guys, a little bit of the trailer. I'm off. <laughs> How's it going? How's yeah, it going? Put, put Pesach out. All right, Larry, you're a Jew again. Welcome back. 824 is the shit. Well. It's a crazy risk to gamble. And it's about to pay off. So I want the Celtics to cover. I want the Celtics half time. I want Garnet points and rebounds. What do you know? This is coming to Netflix or something? Or is it It's coming out in theaters. Well, I'll tell you what I know. It's the dumbest fucking bet I ever heard of. (laughs) I disagree. I disagree, Gary. What is that? I started it. Are you serious? He just sells like a diamond diamond dealer that gambles. You're taking my money all over town, placing bets. I'm having very serious second thoughts. Are you serious right now? I know I fucked up. Howard, where's the money right now? Howard, got my money? Howard! Happy Gilmore 2. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Madison, grown up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think it's one of those movies where, from the trailer, you're like, this is either going to be an amazing movie or I'm going to be like, ah, oh, fuck, the trailer really... No, I think it's going to be good. It looks like it's going to be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, they're talking Oscar for it. I thought it was, no, you don't mess with the Zohan. Dude, I was in line for that one <laughs> Thursday night at midnight. I slept. Uh, I slept out. So, Can't camped do that out. anymore. Camped out. Someone they were camping out uh, for uh, something. Pete La- Davidson's back on SNL, dude. I know. Oh, that's what they're camping out for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doy. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, man. What a fun. What a fun pre-record. You guys are going to be able to hear the holiday episode. We're playing it on an old man. While we're gone. While we're gone, what day do you want to play it?